why would you use heli antennas in tunnels and how do they work? I guess the first thing is I've, I've spoken about heli antennas in the past and specifically the ones that pointing antenna offers. And those antennas are working phenomenal in mines, in tunnels for roadworks or, or traffic tunnels, any type of underground structure. The heli antennas are very popular and very successful. And there's good reason for that. Um, I need to note first that there was a white paper released just a few weeks ago from pointing antennas where they did tests in South Africa where the difference in using a normal antenna meaning a regular LPDA or so, and a heli antenna was um, all, almost the order of magnitude better in getting the signal through to the tunnel. Now, any of those antennas are available through RF Shop's website, or not just the website, but give us a call. We, um, we can work with you through the design. We can work directly with pointing as well to make sure that we can get you the best type of antenna for your um, setup. But the thing that got me, and I, and I have to admit here that I also learned something that I didn't really... Um, fully understood before. If you want to buy a certain heli, there's always a specification to say right-hand circular polarization, left-hand circular polarization. And the other thing is also people ask, why is a heli antenna going to work better? Um, goes a bit into physics as well. And I have an image on the screen where you could see if you have a tunnel, now there's a tunnel, you could see right through it. I just basically took one of those soft mirrors and I just bend it. So it's a tunnel that has a lot of optical um, reflections optical has similar issues and behavior as a tunnel for radio waves if you look through it it's like a kaleidoscope like you have this beautiful image in the middle but all around you just see images everywhere which are reflections of the same one so those reflections are obviously they're messy the polarization goes all over the place because if you reflect to a straight surface it just reflects back but once it's curved things go wonky wonky as you go around um that's the one thing the other thing is um, if you have reflections through the tunnel, it goes through and there's a reflection, there's another reflection and it gets through and through and through, slower and slower and slower. So there's a magnitude of the same signal coming here, the main one plus reflected plus reflection, that's twice, three times, four times. So the radio on the other side of this tunnel gets such a messy signal, it gets really hard to decipher. Now what we can do as antenna engineers is we can control the polarization we can try and make it better so we can at least okay okay at least get the signal in the fact that there's different reflections with different time delays coming in that's something that then also needs to be worked through by the the companies and the, the radios behind it as well but at least the signal can come in and the antenna can get that signal through um, so i just wanted to do a quick visual demonstration of how this works so i have a tunnel and i have a gopro so i'm just going to turn the gopro on and you can see it poking through my tunnel. So there's the tunnel. And just record. You can see there is an image. But you can see a lot of versions of that same image. I'm just going to poke it through so you just see what comes through the image. I'll just take my phone. I'll just play a little video or just show a website, for instance. Um, let's go to Auto Shop. Uh, so, dot com, dot au. It's just the main page, so it's nothing fancy. As you could see, can you see it? There you go. It says Merry Christmas. It's the time of year where that's the kind of thing that's important. So, But as you could see, if you look through it, it's quite messy. You see a lot of stuff and not just that simple image. I'm actually facing the wrong thing. I've got this way. You see a lot of the same image. It just repeats itself a lot. Now, your receiver doesn't have what you see. So that's the real one I want to see. You see all the other things around it as well. And that's the kaleidoscope effect. But it gets worse because a tunnel isn't always straight. A tunnel can also be at a curve. And then if I were to go okay, there, go like this, go for there, for there, I think I can see what used to be that phone image that I had there but it just is very, very messy. And that is pretty much what an antenna has to deal with, and your radio has to deal with it. I know this screen here, see, that's the screen, that's what I could see is that thing there, as you could see over there. But what I see is just an extremely messy version of the same image reflected through all the mirrors there. It's as simple as that. It, it's a, it's, it's a, a tunnel is messy for radio waves, and a tunnel is extremely messy for visual as well in this case, and that's just a demonstration I could show. But that's not all. Um, the other thing is the polarization. Now, this is something I got wrong as well, so I have to 
tell you this because I learned this as we, um, as I worked through this a few weeks ago. So we know we sell a heli antenna or a circular polarized antenna as a left-hand circular polarized antenna or right-hand circular polarized antenna. Now in antenna world, the basic way to explain this is right hand means I have my right hand here. The radio waves is traveling in this direction. So it's basically the polarization is in this direction with propagation that way. So that's right. It's moving in this direction, right hand, you could see it's going in that clockwise direction because that's my right hand as it moves forward. You are, um, you are forgiven, I would say, because I've been thinking like this, to receive it, you need to have left hand because it's the same direction. It's a bit like a motorbike here, right? It's the same direction. So going over forward. So this one needs to receive the same going back. The problem is that isn't like that. It actually needs to be right hand goes to right hand on this side. And it feels wrong because if this goes this direction, the same right hand on this side is actually opposite. But that's not the way to see it because it gets received in that way as well, forward. So right hand, if you were to buy heli antennas, it's going to be right hand circle polarization for your whole tunnel. Your sender, your receiver, your repeating system, everything needs to be the same polarization. And that's all you need to worry about. Now, what, what I found very interesting was actually just thinking about this. Um, when, when I um, thought about it, thought, how does this work? I thought about screws and nuts. And I, have, I bought myself a nut and a bolt from um, Bunnings. I bought an M8, so I just want to show you what I, just to, to show the logic here. So I have two nuts. There's both M8 or M10 nuts. Same thing. Now, if I were to move, if I turn right, there's not, it's going forward. In other words, it's like this is my radio wave and it's rotating and it's moving forward, it's propagating. The same one on the other one is doing exactly the same. So you turn it, it goes forward. That's just common sense. That's how we know nuts and bolts work. So there's nothing profound groundbreaking about this, this little demonstration that I have here. The problem is, or the question is, if I use the same nut and it moves forward, but I know now actually have it back to back, does this nut going in the same direction move into the other nut or not? Just like the antenna, it's going forward. The radio wave stays the same. Does it go in on the other one as well? Intuitively, it feels like maybe not. So I made myself a little 3D printed jig to, um, to illustrate the principle and just test this for myself. So here's my one nut, just have that there. Insert this into my little demonstrator. And that's my one antenna on one end of the nut, of the, uh, of the nut, of the link. So that's the one end and I will put the other one on the other side. So that's my link. So one antenna is right hand circular polarized. The other one is right hand circular polarized. So they are exactly the same antennas facing each other, intuitively thinking, but they're opposite because they are now facing against each other. Look at this. So if I put a nut on this one, there's a nut as of before. The question is, will this nut, if I keep turning it, just go through over that while still in the same direction? Have a look at this. It is as simple as that. So I just turn it and I keep turning it same direction and it moves through. So it works. Right hand goes to right hand, not because things turn around, but the antenna is actually turned around. So what goes in, what goes out in one direction in right hand circular polarization goes in if the, into the other one if the antenna is the other way around. So I just want to show you that again because this is pretty awesome. Let's just go through, through the gap just keeps turning the same way. It's be awesome. Physics is just absolutely great. And physics, when you can use it to your advantage in a place like in a tunnel, can make things so much more powerful for you to use. That's all I have to say about that. Now I need to mention as well, I know this is a bit of a nerdy, nerdy video, but if you have any comments or suggestions, Maybe as a, as a casual user or more professional user, we are always happy to listen. If you want to see more of these kind of um, experiments where we kind of take a complex antenna concept and we just, I wouldn't say dumbify, but, but we really simplify it to a nut and a bolt just to show the basic principles of it. Please let me know and um, keep thinking about more ways to, to illustrate this. Thanks for watching. I will see you on the next video again. Bye-bye.